performing arts medicine is a very interesting uh, part of, of a sports medicine practice. Uh, I call these athletes artistic athletes, uh, musicians, dancers, singers, actors. Uh, these are people who, who have competitions and daily practice and work toward a goal and uh, really are committed to maintaining their activity and it takes a sports medicine mentality to keep them active and, and healthy. The arts, not traditional sports medicine, but I've always been a fan of the arts. Um, I grew up playing um, piano and singing in choirs. I sang choirs through medical school uh, and have even been involved in some of the local choirs here. Uh, my daughters, we have two daughters and they were very active in the arts, uh, music and drama uh, through college. And so we've always been uh, patrons of the arts and uh, I serve on the board of trustees of our local theater company. Uh, so that's been an important part of, uh, of my interest in sports medicine. Actors have a, an amazing amount of injury. It's, a, it's quite an athletic endeavor. Uh, not only voice and, and sort of sinus and, and head and neck issues, but also uh, they, they fight on stage. There are many uh, choreographed uh, sword fights and I've taken care of uh, sword injuries and sprains and, and uh, falls and splinters on stage and all sorts of injuries. Artistic athletes are similar to other athletes in that they, they need to be able to continue their activity and in fact for many of them it's a profession so it's really important that they're able to get on stage just, just as an athlete would, would uh, show up for an event and to be able to practice and uh, any way that we can find for artistic athletes to get braced or taped or uh, you know help their voice or, or anything we can do to keep them on the stage is really important to them. So that sports medicine mentality uh, or our approach to taking care of injuries it really fits for them.